is what I don't understand. Europe is always lecturing Africa on democracy. Seriously, Europe has no place in lecturing Africa on democracy. Having sold Africans into slavery for 500 years and colonized us for 100 years, seriously, Europe uh, lecturing Africa on democracy is as ridiculous as FIFA lecturing Nigerian corruption. Um, <laughs> I was little, uh, my brother and I, my father bought us a little pet dog. And it was very unusual because in Africa, we, we don't keep pets because it's very difficult to love our predators. <laughs> And Africa has very many predators, lions, crocodiles, snakes, buffaloes, the white man. <laughs> the people here know everything there is to know about the animals of Africa, but you know fuck all about the African people. <laughs> you even know the animals by name. <laughs> Do you remember Cecil? Yeah, you guys remember Cecil? Cecil the lion. Yeah, you know them by name. Do you remember when Cecil was killed? That was outrage. People were like, oh my God, the dentist, he had to go into hiding because he feared for his life. People lost their mind. And then Cecil's dad was killed. People lost it. And then Cecil's son, people were like, oh my God, they were in complete mourning. They were like, oh my God, first of all, Cecil. And then his dad and his son, oh my God. And we're like, guys, 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 we are still traumatized by colonialism. They're like, shush, can't you see? We hate mourning. <laughs> much value is placed on an African life, right? <laughs> but you know, I found out that white mothers motivate their children to eat by getting them to think of a starving African. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously? Like, white mothers motivate their children to eat by getting them to think of a starving African. We just use spices. <laughs> Because when white people do one thing, it's called one thing, and black people do that exact same thing, it's called something else. Like poaching, hunting, <laughs> terrorist, lone wolf. <laughs> Priest. <laughs> that's, that's insane. That's insane. So my parents grew up in Kenya during the Mau Mau uprising. And if you don't know what the Mau Mau uprising is, it's basically when the Kenyans rebelled against the British rule <laughs> because it was undemocratic. And actually Kenya and Britain went to war. You don't know about this war because we won. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you don't celebrate it. <laughs> People are always asking black comedians, why do you always talk about race? Because privilege is taken. <laughs> That is, why. that is why. We talk about race to highlight our plight. You know, we don't talk about race to make white people feel uncomfortable. We do that anyway without even trying. <laughs> and this is it because people are always asking me, why is it that Africans are such fast runners? I say it's our fastest mode of transport. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is we are always running away from something. We're always running away from hungry wildlife, angry tribesmen, neo-colonial legacies. <laughs> <laughs> so the Europeans arrived in Africa to find a continent without borders, and they started marking their territories using flags. I believe animals do the same, but with urine. <laughs> Europeans arrived in Africa, they destroyed our cultures, they looted our artifacts, and now Europeans are complaining that Africans are coming to Europe for economic reasons. Uh, why else? <laughs> to polish our artifacts. <laughs> Seriously? So my parents grew up in Kenya during a very difficult time. You know, there was a politically induced famine because famine is a very effective weapon of war. But despite all of that, my, mother, my mother's identity was very clear. She was a strong woman. You know, her identity was crystal clear because as a girl, she used to carry food underneath her skirt to take to the freedom fighters. And I was the daughter of sacrilege. As a young girl, I used to carry booze underneath my skirt <laughs> to go and drink with the alcoholics. <laughs> I know for a fact that most Africans don't actually know African history. Most of Africans don't actually know that they were colonized. Most Africans don't actually know that they about the slave trade. They don't actually know. This is because Africa is a very young continent. Something like 75% um, of people in Africa are under the age of 30. And we have been let down because of the lack of knowledge of our history. 
most of African uh, countries were colonized and they were colonized with the use of very grotesque violence. King Leopold II of Belgium killed 10 million Africans in seven years. And the ones he didn't kill, he chopped off the baby's hands and feet. The Germans in Namibia, they, they got people to decapitate their families and so that they could take the skulls back to study. The British in Africa, why are we not learning our history? And the reason Africans are not taught our history because it's too painful. It's too painful and people don't actually want you to know um, the horrors that have been dished out on Africans because the only thing that they want to show us is that Europeans come to Africa to give us aid. Africans, Europeans do not care about Africans. They sold Africans into slavery. And when slavery was supposedly over, they colonized Africans and they turned them into slaves in their own homes. Now, and this history is so recent, it's so recent. We celebrated, Kenya, Kenya only celebrated its uh, independence about just over 50 years ago. It's so recent. Your parents will tell you this history. We need to insist that Africans are taught our own history to control our narrative. The missionaries did not bring religion to Africa. We were already religious. The reason Africans are religious is because we were already religious. For example, my tribe, the Gekoyo people, we already worshipped Gai, our God, who is omnipresent, who is invisible to the naked eye. And the only thing that made us go into the churches was because our God Gai says that we mustn't worship in man-made temples. And therefore we worshipped under sacred trees, and they cut down those trees in order uh, to uh, prove to us that our gods did not exist. We need to know who we are. It's the only way we can move forward by understanding where we come from.